Hi guys, what we're going to be talking about here is how we measure things, not just in science class, but in our world. Uh, this is called measuring using the metric system. The metric system is an internationally agreed upon system that we use for measurement. It's a decimal system based on the liter, the meter, and the gram. So you need to know the difference between when we would use each one. A liter measures liquids or volumes. Uh, examples of liters would be liters like if you go to the grocery store and you buy a liter of soda or milliliters. A meter measures distances or lengths. Those examples would be like kilometer, meters, centimeters, millimeters. Or somebody might use a gram to measure mass which is closely related but is not the same thing as weight. And that in that case we would use the units gram or milligram. These are some places where you probably have seen the metric system used. Uh, when you drive in your car, usually the speedometer on the outside reads miles per hour, but on the inside you'll see these words right here, km slash, slash h, and this means that it's measuring how fast you are going in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour. Uh, when you go to the grocery store, you don't usually buy a gallon of soda, usually you buy a liter of soda, and then when you buy any kind of medication, if you look on the back of it, it's usually measured in milligrams. Um, these are used measurements that are used all around the world. Um, so again, kilometers, liters, and milligrams. So there's some abbreviations that you'll need to know when using the metric system. Um, for measuring distances and lengths, km equals a kilometer. M equals a meter, CM equals a centimeter, and MM equals a millimeter. And again, that's for measuring distances or lengths, as you see the picture of the meter stick there and the mileage and kilometer sign on the freeway. For measuring volume with liquids, a capital L equals liter, M capital L stands for milliliter. And those, again, are used for measuring the volume of liquids. When measuring mass, we have kg equals a kilogram, g equals gram, and mg equals a milligram. And notice the scale is measuring the mass of an object using grams, kilograms, or milligrams. There are three countries in the world that currently do not use the metric system, and even though it's considered an international system of units, these three countries still have their own methods of measuring. One of those countries is the United States. Go U.S. Whoop, whoop. Another country is Liberia. And the third country that currently does not use metric is Burma. So this can get confusing, and the reason why this is confusing for us as America, for those of you who have grown up in America, is we don't say that somebody's going down the freeway at 60 kilometers per hour. We say 60 miles per hour, and those conversion units are completely different. So in science, because scientists work with people all around the world, they use the metric system so that we can understand each other when different countries are working together on a project. So these are actually different units within one metric system. So let's take one of the main units, like let's take meter. Another main unit would be liter or gram, but let's take meter for right now. Let's say I put the main unit as meter. Well, there are several different units within that main unit that can be used. Um, and a way to remember that would be to rem memorize this. King Henry died Monday drinking chocolate milk. K stands for kilo, which would be a thousand of that unit. H stands for hecto, which is 100 of that unit. Deca stands for, um, D stands for deca, which is 10 of that unit. And then the main unit, Monday. Deci would be one tenth of that unit. Centi would be one one hundredth of the unit. And milli would be one one thousandth of the unit. So if we were going to convert between main units, we would use this ladder method 
or um, staircase method, whatever you want to call it. So for example, if we're talking about the main unit being meters, and we wanted to go from a kilometer, so that's up at the top, to a hectometer, we would move the decimal point one place to the right. And moving the decimal point one place to the right really means we're multiplying by 10. So we could say that there are 10 hectometers in one kilometer. If we were going from meter as the main unit to millimeters and making that conversion, since it is three steps down or to the right, we would move the decimal point three places to the right which is the same as multiplying by a thousand. Now the opposite is true if we're going up the staircase or to the left. So for example, if we were starting with centimeters and converting to meters, that's moving up the staircase two places or to the left. And in that case, we would be moving the decimal point to the left which is the same as dividing by 100. So just as um, something for you guys to know that converting units is what we do when we're making the metric units smaller or larger. The thing to remember about this is that units can only be converted within the same main unit. Like you can change meters to centimeters or kilometers to meters, but you cannot convert unlike units. Like you cannot change meters to grams or liters to meters because they're, com they're two completely different things. Like you would never say that you have 12 feet of soda. You would say you have 12 liters of soda because feet measures distance and not liquid. So it just doesn't make any sense. You have to make sure that when you're converting that you're converting within the same unit. And don't worry too much right now about the conversions because we're going to be doing a lot of practice. In fact, we're going to do some, some um, easy practice right now and then we'll um, make sure that you understand how to do some more complicating conversions. So for our first example, we're going to convert one kilometer to meters. That means we're starting up at letter K, up at the top of the staircase. And moving down to the main unit, meter. So if you count how many places down we have moved, that's one, two, three. That means we are going to move the decimal point, which on the number one, the decimal point is right after the one. We're going to move that three places to the right. And what, basically what we've done is we've multiplied by a thousand. So one kilometer equals one thousand meters. And what if we were going from one meter to one centimeter? Going from one meter to one centimeter, we start at the main unit, which is meter, and count how many steps to the right it takes to get to centimeter. In this case, that's two steps to the right or two places to the right. And that means that we move the decimal point two places to the right. Or in other words, multiply by 100. Moving the decimal point is the same as multiplying by 10 every time you move the decimal point one place to the right. So what if you were going from centimeter back up to meter? Okay, now in this case, we're going the opposite direction. So starting from centimeters, in order to get to the main unit of meter, we have to move to the left two places or up the staircase. And so in that case, we need to move the decimal point to the left two times. So the decimal point on 20 is at the right side of the zero, and we would move that two places to the left, and we would end up with 0 0.20. So what we've done is we have divided by 100. Moving the decimal point to the left is the same as dividing. 
So thanks so much for listening to our introduction on metric system, and we'll practice some more tomorrow. But don't forget to answer the questions that go along with this video. Have a good day.